On this, you're trying to figure out where are the best golf courses in different parts of the world, and that's where we're at now, taking a look at Cork, Ireland. Where's the best golf course in there? We've been to Ireland, some of the footage right now, just traveling on local trains, trying to figure out, trying to figure, get some good public golf in the way. Get out of my way as I try to figure out where those top golf courses are. Celebrating coming back. Cork coming golf back. together, coming trying to figure out, go in. maybe there's some better golf oh, 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 in the in the next update video, and we need your help. Hopefully you can provide on that list. By putting the top golf courses that you believe are in this area in the comment section down below. Taking a look at number four, we have Douglas Golf Club, a 4.6 with 174 golf reviews to choose from. Home of a famous and enjoyable golf course, according to the website. Golf Digest has rated this a great course, and since 1916, this course has been rated a top destination among golfers from all different parts of the world. If you like this type of golf, well, let us know down in the comment section. These type of courses are the ones we're focused on playing. These are public, but they're also kind of a semi-private feel. Here at Douglas Golf Club, well, you'll have a semi-private course stretching 6,084 meters. Built in design, completed in 19. Oh, six, believe it or not. I did have some updates by Paul Bryant in 2006. And it does move us into number three. As we bring you those top golf courses, think about the ones we might have missed. And hit them down in the comment section below, just like a beautiful par three. This looks like a little par three here. As you can see right off the bat, can't believe they put a golf course here at Old Head Golf Links. One of those courses that someone tells you if they played it, if they talked about Ireland golf. And why wouldn't they? Because this course looks insanely nice. One I haven't played, but hopefully I can play one day in my dreams, one would say. Stretching a total of four out of seven. Four out of seven out of 648 golf reviews to choose from this is an amazing facility expensive round and a top course in the country year in year out by major golf outlets and that's why we put it here at number three there's so much great history at that part you can find prices for about one thousand dollars to play let's stay in play there's about five par fives that's now going to move us into number two as we bring you those top golf courses here we are at number two on this list an island course doesn't feel like it's an island but it is and we're here taking a look at a facility that dates back as long as you would think taking a look here at a golf club like none other and a rating of 4.6 with 264 golf reviews to choose from. It's surrounded by tall oak trees and also in a peaceful and quiet area of a river cutting through it. The facility is a top 100 by golf outlets like Golf Magazine and Golf Advisory. And there's a total of 27 holes here at this facility's luxury facility that has all the amenities you would need. You can find some decent rates for about $400 for one night two rounds of golf and experience like none other if you're interested in playing this course let us know down in the comment section below we'll provide a little bit more information this resort style course stretches a long 7,121 meters and was completed in 1993 leaving us with just one more course here to take a look at we have the famous cork golf club a facility well known in the area, maybe not as good as the Old Head Golf Course, but these are the ones that have a lot of charm and fun to them. It's a 4.6, it's not too far from the big city, and it's 203 golf reviews. Sets the tone here for number one. Mackenzie himself designed the course. Alex Mackenzie put together an amazing course, this golf historian, golf architect it was formed in 1888 so it's extremely historical by a businessman that 
like that gets a little bit of golf on the side. Well, the course does have some great history and that's what the Parfester is all about, trying to find those great hidden gems. And this one here at Little Island with the historical golf course that has hosted the Irish Open and five holes of an amazing golf on an island as well. It's going to do it for us. Keep a look out for more videos to come. This is Parfester, an independent golf channel focused on the fun, affordable side of golf. If you're not watching, go play a little bit of golf today.